Nine signs a narcissist likes you and wants to make you suffer. Hoovering is a form of emotional abuse and manipulation that a narcissist may commit when they feel that they are losing control over you. Hoovering is a form of emotional abuse. Consuming things in a hasty and avaricious manner is an example of this conduct, which is really another attempt by the narcissist to reclaim control over you and to continue to take advantage of you. Narcissists are under the impression that you ended your relationship with them because they lost interest in you during the honeymoon phase and they may do anything to try to win you back, even engaging in conduct that is unpleasant. Consequently, what are the symptoms that a narcissist is draining your vitality and how can you spot them? There are nine unmistakable symptoms that a narcissist is influencing you and I will share them with you in this article. The first thing that narcissists do is appear as if nothing has gone wrong. It is possible that they will attempt to hoover you back by reaching out to you unexpectedly. Any communication that appears to be too sweet or too wistful to be true should be examined with mistrust. You can be told to disregard what is taking place and continue on with your life as usual. Additionally, they might send you messages or give you a call to see how you are doing. It is also possible that they will make an effort to get in touch with their previous partners and express their desire to reminisce about the good old days. This whole thing is nothing more than an act by them to preserve their reputation and give you the impression that your relationship is still strong. Narcissists are notorious for apologizing without genuinely meaning it, which brings us to the second point. It is important to keep in mind that narcissists are incapable of changing, and before you feel comfortable forgiving them and giving them another chance, you need to carefully assess whether they are actually sorry. Despite the fact that their hoovering conduct may be covert and efficient, there are undercurrents of dishonesty. On the other hand, if you try to change your approach and the narcissist grows upset, this is an indication that they are not truly sorry for what they have done. Those who are narcissistic put their own goals and desires ahead of those of others, and they will continue to engage in damaging conduct until it no longer produces the outcomes they want. It is important to be wary of individuals who put on a show of apologizing, as this is still another method of manipulation. Despite the fact that it may go against human nature, a sincere apology has the potential to result in improved behavior in the future. Don't worry too much about the decisions you've made for the time being. You are free to do anything you choose. Simply keep in mind that you should be aware of the indicators that a narcissist is deceiving you and that you should protect yourself from the emotional abuse that they cause. In the third place, narcissists frequently employ the strategy of love bombing in order to exert control over their victims by assuring them of unending love and loyalty. As a kind of affection, narcissists would lavish their victims with compliments and display their affection with extravagant actions. It is possible that they will reflect on the good old days and make use of their excessive self-love in order to amplify the relevance of the experiences that they have had. There is a possibility that they will remark something along the lines of, I could never find anyone better than you, or no one else makes me feel the way you do. In spite of the fact that these actions may appear to be romantic, they are essentially a strategy to convince the victim to give in and continue being in the relationship. Narcissists will use the word love to play on the feelings of their victims in order to persuade them to remain in their relationship. When it comes to the love bombing strategy, narcissists frequently employ the practice of making promises that they are unable to fulfill. In order to reassure their victims, narcissists will make broad statements, such as proposing marriage, purchasing a car, or making travel plans. Nevertheless, they have no intention of carrying out the commitments that they have established. Considering that narcissists are solely accountable to themselves, 
It is impossible to put their faith in them to follow their word. It is not appropriate for the victim to blame oneself for the feelings or actions they have experienced as a result of these false promises. The promise is never made to the victim. Rather, it is made only between the narcissist and themselves. It is essential to keep in mind that the behaviors of the narcissist are motivated by their desire to increase their dependence on the victim for as long as possible. In the event that the narcissist is unable to communicate with the victim directly, they will attempt to do so through proxies. Narcissists will resort to any means necessary in order to regain control over the person they have victimized. One of the ways in which they might try to accomplish this is by demonstrating to the parents of the victim how much they care about them and by maintaining consistent communication with them. In order to boast to others about how incredible the victim is and how much they miss them, they could exploit the victim's children as a means of publicity. This method is referred to as hoovering, and it entails the narcissist making contact with people they already know and trust in order to attempt to acquire access to the personal information of the victim. There is also the possibility that the narcissist will attempt to send love notes to the victim by way of these intermediaries. It is important for the victim to be wary of these tactics and to keep in mind that they have the ability to establish boundaries and safeguard themselves against the manipulations of the narcissist they are dealing with. As a sixth point, narcissists may attempt to win your sympathy by portraying themselves as victims. Narcissistic people frequently have a flair for the theatrical. Narcissistic people tend to be more dramatic. They are good at generating fake emergencies or crises in order to attract attention and develop a relationship with other people. They usually wallow in self-pity and are skilled at creating these situations. The fabrication or exaggeration of the death of a family member is a frequent strategy that they employ in order to solicit compassion from others. It is the narcissist's unquenchable thirst for adoration and acclaim that gives rise to the powerful feelings that they experience. They are obsessed with you, but they also have a strong desire to be in the spotlight. In most instances, they employ this tactic in order to attract your attention by producing a considerable increase in the level of dread that you are experiencing. The seventh point is that they are notorious for spreading false information and rumors, which takes us to the seventh particular issue. Although it is possible that these untrue rumors will be used against you in the future, that is not the case right now. When it comes to generating stories about you among their social circle, narcissists and other drama queens are professionals at doing they do. You used to be able to rely on these individuals, but now they are deliberately working to bring you down. They disseminate false information about you, draw attention to your shortcomings, and attempt to motivate you to take action. Take care not to tell tales that portray them as the protagonist and you as the antagonist. In your haste to change things, you run the risk of making them even more difficult to deal with. These are the kinds of behaviors that narcissists engage in in order to cut you off from your support system and to keep you at a distance from mainstream society. They anticipate that you will seek their assistance once more in the future. The manner in which you react to the unpleasant comments made by other people is entirely up to you. It is a futile use of time to engage in a verbal conflict that yields no results. With regard to the eighth point, narcissists are experts in the gaslighting technique. Following the tarnishing of your reputation and the making of false charges against you, narcissists will make an effort to persuade you that you are dreaming things. Despite the fact that I have put in a lot of effort, it appears like I am being neglected. It is a fact, despite the fact that it may appear to be unbelievable. You should forget about the endless hours that I spent with us. Whenever something occurs, you have a tendency to overanalyze it. I didn't treat you in any way that was unkind. That is without a doubt the best attempt that I have ever made. 
They employ the tactic of gaslighting in order to make you question what they have said because they do not want to take responsibility for their acts or care about how you feel about them. Your first impressions are generally always accurate of the situation. Due to the fact that they are conscientious of this reality, their assertions are purposefully incomprehensible. A moment of contemplation or a critical study of their comments is not something that they are open to receiving. It is important to be ready for them to try to provoke you in any manner that they can. Recognizing the dangers of self-inflicted injury from narcissists is the eighth step. When a narcissist threatens to hurt themselves, it is one of the most obvious indications that they are trying to hoover you back into their grip. In situations where other strategies have been unsuccessful, a narcissist may turn to purposefully injuring themselves in order to gain your trust and acquiescence. It is possible that they will threaten to damage themselves or even commit suicide if you do not answer to their calls or messages if you do not give in to their demands and refuse to give in to them. It is imperative that you get in touch with emergency services as soon as possible if you have any reason to believe that a narcissist is in imminent danger. It is essential to keep in mind that you cannot be held responsible for the actions of another person if they hurt themselves as a result of your refusal to give in to their deceptive strategies. When it comes to making themselves feel important and attempting to manipulate your emotions in order to win a long-term commitment from you, narcissists are skilled at both of these practices. On the other hand, they are the ones who consistently end up causing harm to other people. Taking a step back and analyzing the situation in an impartial manner is the most effective method for gaining some space and perspective on the scenario. You will be able to identify instances in which a narcissist is attempting to reclaim control of the relationship by employing hoovering strategies if you pay close attention. Could you kindly give this video a like and subscribe if you found it to be helpful? For me, having your support would mean a great deal. In addition, if you think that this knowledge is helpful, you should watch some of my earlier films that discuss how to deal with narcissists.